What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we conquered York Factory, <laughs> we've pushed into Texas, we've killed the French in Guyana, and then the Spanish have declared war on us and we sunk an entire stack by intercepting a very paltry, uh, a paltry um, navy that was deploying them, we're going to deploy them towards Curacao. Ah, we also have any viable... Ooh, big British fleet. Although by the looks of it, these two are friendly. Greece, Crimean Carne, aha! Georgia, eh? So then who's over here? Oh, there's no one there. Okay, let's steal this one. And let's also get... I'm pretty sure I've sent another fleet to join them, a fleet of fifth rates. I mean, it wasn't you. But that's the kind of navy I want to send to the trade zones. It's starting to secure a bunch of ivory. No spice. Yet. Um, I think the only thing to do is hit end turn and let everything tick forward a bit. So we are still planning on attacking the Cherokee. I was going to cancel the plans if New Spain joined the war because then I would have France wants peace. Hmm. Yes. Let us make a temporary peace. We've kicked them out of the continent and we have no real objective to uh, to to make war against them. Spain is declared on us, which makes me interested in attacking Spain. Especially as we've now formed a grand alliance in Europe. So gobbling Spain would be quite a nice uh, base of operations for the war. For the future war against, well, everyone. I think that's a good idea. So we can take Lisbon, we can take Madrid, we can take Sardinia, we can have quite a nice core of nations to launch attacks in any direction as we see fit. Aha. Sweden is being silly again, so in which case... Oh, <laughs> as soon as I say Sweden's being silly, they are no longer silly. <gasps> you devils. Okay, Operation Attack Cherokee is formally off. We're not calling any of our allies in, because we want their territory. I did think it was odd. I didn't think protectorates, protectorates could not be at war. And good God, the Austrians are massing in in um, Gibraltar. Peace treaty signed with France, but we've lost trade. My agent die. He was assassinated. So they got a rake acting, doing some defensive ops there. Well, this army, you march. Everyone else march to catch up. So these guys are going to head west and hit Santa Fe. It's going to take them a long time. This time under Gautier Briso is going to take up positions on the bridge. OK, 
Okay, let's take you march over to Philly. Theodore Midabor. Let's embark you onto this fourth rate. So you, Theodore, will have the honour of assaulting Cuba. Well, honour. It has no garrison. Send a ship down to Veracruz. To raid that. Then raid the fishery. Get some visibility on their forces. Fairly minor. You guys can have a unit of... See, heavy cavalry would be nice, but it'll take forever to get there. So it'll have to be... I don't know, I could just do it manually. Recruit some cuirassiers up here, then ferry them down south. Let's probably drop some militia into New York to stop any funny business. Michel Belmont has been recruited. So let's add... Some second rate ships of the line. New town in Upper Canada. Let's make it a craft workshop. I'm never that fussed about attacking Yankton because they're so far out of the way and they never really do anything against you. I'm not. I'm just never a territory I'm bothered about taking. So we've done the new town. Treat gained Robespierre. Adrien Marie Robespierre. Tech advances. Okay. Hartford's going for carronades, that's okay. Front, um, Frontenac is going for rights of man. Although, would I rather you go for national debt to, to get the upkeep bonuses, especially as I'm recruiting lots of troops at the moment. Okay, so you've landed on Cuba. So let's take my fleet, sands a sloop. You guys can recruit sloop in preparation. This army needs some replenishment. The four, Julian's former army can land. So this force will land before the gates of Caracas. Well, they will get a sizable garrison. And you guys will go back to Cinemary. I could probably just cancel the recruitment of the sloop for now. Good stuff. So that's a bunch of armies deployed. You can strike south. Let's upgrade the farm in Texas. Ah. Ah. Try to do something like that. Something like that. So I don't want to recruit in New Orleans because look, I have no. Hey, town developing Baton Rouge in nine turns. I just want to dump troops over in Texas to stop them from being too angry. Although, to be honest, I might just have to fall them back till that's ready. Um, so. Lists. Fleets. I'm pretty sure I did have a... Yeah, that's my other battle fleet. These two are both my battle fleets with full ships. Hmm. 
So you're there. Ah. Okay, let's take Georges. Let's get you to East Africa to pick up the trade zone that my main fleet is currently sat on. Good. Okay. You will slowly no longer be needed. Although, it's not they won't need the small fleets. I'm just probably going to start sending them sending them to trade theatres. So let's hit end turn. <laughs> Silly British priests. No conversions here. They demand trade. For, and they want 15 grand. No, just trade. <laughs> I'm not going to pay you to trade with you, France. No way, Jose. Damn. Austria's packing heat. Okay, I'm probably going to chop it for Sweden, so see you in a second, everyone. <laughs> New Spain kicked me out of their port. But that's okay. Georgians are still raiding. <clears throat> okay, let's upgrade this guy into a pleasure gardens just to get it out of the way. Commercial basin and steam pumped gold mines. Good stuff. Okay, you put Caracas under siege. Demand the surrender of the garrison. Let's not. Can I move you out of the town? Yes, I can, because we're a good Catholic nation. Although this will be an auto resolve. Because. Make ready. Why would I worry about fighting that? So that's Cuba secured. Let's get these plantations up and running. Let's probably destroy. Could probably destroy the happiness building, but one thing things we're down, sure. Or do I keep the dockyard? Could come in useful. Happiness building I'm not so sure about. But to be honest, they say this town's gonna to be absolutely firing when I've finished all my upgrades. Let's knock it down and see what it does. It will knock the entertainment and culture down to zero. But they do they are negative thirteen for me having just captured it, so that's okay. This fella, keep marching towards Santa Fe. You guys cancel your attack to Texas. Attack on uh, on New Mexico while I bring garrison troops across to occupy the city. Yeah, they're on strike. They're going to riot next turn. Cuba is ours. Now you hold out on Philadelphia for now, just to make sure they don't try anything sneaky. Because I do have that Curiosier unit trying to chase down Basile, but I think he, mi he might make it to them in time. But this guy is going to get shipped off to Santo Domingo. So let's pick up a sloop for transport. You're slowly expanding your fleet. We're going to get 33,000 next turn, which is a lot of cash. But I think we are going to assault Caracas. Let's do it. So let's assault, assault the city. And we're going to split new Spanish forces. Because they won't know whether to go north to Texas or south towards Caracas and then we can take the valuable gold mines of Caracas and Bogota. Bogota especially is very good. I mean New Mexico has lots of mines as well but that's their capital. I'd expect them to be a bit more
cagey. Okay, let's just deploy. Fairly uncontroversial manner. You guys are all hidden. What kind of range have I got on those? Yeah, it's not bad for a round shot. Just get my cavalry spread out. Same with my new general. Might actually just move them up a little bit. Knock your way in. I'm going to make two ways in. They are firing at us. Wow, they've actually... No, actually don't go that way. Come over here. Because I want my cavalry to come through the right-hand breach. I want my foot artillery to destroy this section of the wall first. I mean, that's a whole lot of artillery they've got to fire back at me. They'll chill out once they've got a few holes in the wall. Let's just put it on to slightly faster speed. Sadly, we can't disable these walkways, so we can't trap any units. A lot of that artillery is actually going to start. They are picking away at my troops. But this is why we have to give them multiple vectors to try and defend against our attacks from. It's a lot of artillery all aiming at that one poor unit of line infantry. Triple speed it. Just to get another volley off. Oh, please destroy it when they're on the wall. 92. One more should do it. Sadly, we're not going to get as many kills as we'd like. Then you guys focus on over here. My howitzer. Just keep dropping shells onto their position. I don't think they are attacking this section of the wall like I want them to. Are they now? Yep, they are. Good. How it says dropping explosive shells into the breach to do whatever damage that they end up actually doing. Well, their round shot probably will end up being better. So let's speed up time just a little bit more to just get. Uh, here they are picking away at my cavalry now. Because that is a component of my offensive. It's infantry through one breach, cavalry through another. And then we're going to scale this entire length of wall. With the hope being they can't stop us everywhere. And by doing the two breaches approach, they'll always have to have some protecting this breach, or else my cavalry will pour in. They do have mortars, which we should never ever forget. 
<clears throat> there we go. So he's been dealt with. I suspect I cannot I can't make them attack inside the fort. Nope, in which case then continue to crack the whole thing open. keep trying to put holes in it so there's more <laughs> so they have more areas to defend against and so that my men can just slip through so now do you want to limber my howitzers up to move them up a bit closer so I can start to do some counter battery work. So I want these guys to go in here, ready to form square, or to do uh, to charge if they give us an opportunity. The mortars are firing. That's my current plans. The idea is to attack in so many places at once that they can't, they don't really ever get a chance to uh, do too much critical damage everywhere. I mean, if I, yeah, it's understandable that some of my infantry will break before they get to the wall. In which case then you take their place, attacking that section. The 7th will probably come back. Cavalry I thought the cavalry were going to come and play. The mortars are almost in position. In which case then you guys storm up the walls. These guys have come back, which is perfect. So you guys go there. Nope. Don't. Don't run around. So the other thing you want to watch out for is they want to run they want to run around and just run straight in the breach which obviously I don't want them to do yet drop the howitzers there we go and as they've been lured out of the breach Well, my artillery just focus fire on this area around the breach to kill as many of them as possible. We've captured the gate, so it's tempting to just run this unit through the gate. that 
Sally. So the idea of deploying these men is just to make them... Just to make them fire at something. Get these men off the walls rapidly. Cavalry is about to hit the rear with the native warrior auxiliary. And there they go. My infantry can go back to the direction it was. Warm square. Dropping round shot onto the guns. Okay, let's run one unit to the top of the, the walls. The grenadiers can charge down. Firepower. Get you guys up on the wall quickly. Form square. Withstand the cavalry. These guys engage the artillery. Yeah, they keep engaging that infantry unit. The grenadiers can hit the colonial line here. Go. We're beginning to engage the, the artillery from the rear. The second light horse has hit another square where they will be massacred. Could probably get these guys out of square, but I don't really want to. Should be the end of the light horse. There's only ten of them left, but then again, they are fighting for their territory. You guys also charge into the garrison. run here to block any attempt to try and influence this battle by those three units of line.
Still got a bunch of line infantry units being dumb outside the wall. Get these guys to smash into the colonial line. Mortars are doing a lot of damage to my men. So much so to really, I don't really know why I'm not just bayonet charging. That's really dumb. So let's break the back of the Spanish. These, there you go, these men are now ready to fire. They don't have fire by rank. Poor souls. So what I want to fight here with the gunner. Well, they're all after him now. Curacier's in. Charge in. They've fallen back. But they've got a lot of... a lot of bayonets twirling here. As the ring of defending Spanish gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Turn off my howitzer because it looks like it's causing some friendly fire problems. You guys stay on the, stay on the square. We'll stay in the, uh, in the centre, but do not attack. Spanish are doing well to hold off for this long, but then again I suppose. Oh, my artillery actually is firing. Come on you men, the 27th. Make ready. Oh, they've got to reload. These guys help the light cavalry defend. These men can, are more than welcome to pour fire into the back of the enemy there. You guys it kill this last this last sergeant. Okay, the last the last rank is fired, so let's charge them in. Although in 20 seconds it will all be over. And we will have secured Caracas. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Da. <laughs> Yeah, they've just broken. 
Sweet. And there we go. That was quite a nice capture of the territory. So what have we got? Let's upgrade the farm. Upgrade the coffee plantation. Let's repair everything. Let's replenish our troops. I suspect we can leave. We can. Set these guys to march towards Bogota to at least head off any enemy forces that might be coming our way. And let's also upgrade roads. Sweet. Well, that's gone very well. So you're waiting to get back to garrison, but I don't think anything else has to happen immediately. So, actually, let's take Philip Abouf. Embark them onto the fleet and let's drop them off the coast of Panama. Ships orders. Huh. We're actually going to attack them. Um, but looking at the timer and my my memory of the last part before I cut it, I think that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the assault on Panama. Cheers, everyone.